Hello. Hello. You ever think, you know, we do these old chats about what I did say, it's a bit like an old wedding day. As they say, something old, something new, and something <laughs> blue. What did we borrow? Trailer. Break. Sir. Sir. Well, what is that something saying? Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Something old, something... Say that again! So something <laughs> old, uh-huh. something new, something borrowed, borrowed something, something blue. blue. Well, we're going to that. We're going to prove this is like a webbing day speech here as we walk around. Right. We're going to do this nice and fast because we don't want the video to be boring. But, second cut, silage at Grassman HQ involved <laughs> everything here. Really cool. Something new. Something really new. Pottinger's new Slady Rake. Slady Rake. Which is really, it's, it, it, it's really weird looking. We're not going to say too it much it? on a it. Terror? A glide system thing. But it, it runs in these glides. We like it. She's 8.4 metres. There's a new one out now, 8.8. But anyway, Paul has done a, Paul has done a whole new... A flow task. Flow task. Uh, Paul has done a video on it. Yeah. Talk us through it. Replacing the waves with these slides. You may think that's not going to work. Yeah. Does it work? It does. Very well. See rough undulating ground when it's ah smooth, smooth as silk. Leaves a lovely row. We're a fan of Pottinger Rakes. Good job. Well done. Please go in, see the video. Paul right. talks us round it. Really cool. Wild price though. <laughs> so, <laughs> chopping this time. 70, 60 took up the helm of the 1260. We thought, let's get our three blue tractors chopping if we can make it happen. Let's yep. get three trailed harvesters. Well, we had three trailed harvesters. We had. We yeah. kind of wonder, right? And this is the, 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 everything we do is a wee bit of a, a theme or an idea behind it. So, we're not trying to say trailed harvesters are self-propels. We're not trying to get down that route at all. We put the 1260 on the big new modern tractor at first cut and we proved the point. A tractor can cut grass efficiently uh-huh. at one yeah. le- at roughly one gallon to the acre and a lot of volume of stuff and pretty effortlessly. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fair comment. Now it was time to take the same harvester and have a bit of fun. And we put, not we put a guy, but Big Morton loves the 7060. He's made a lot of videos on the 7060. And he's never left the grass before. So we were like, 7060, big harvester, plenty of horsepower. How did he get on? And he got on real well. Oh, he yeah. For a man who'd never let himself, you know, tell you himself, never left the grass before, he got on real well. Sounds the absolute nuts, nuts. Oh. But I don't think I can listen to it all day. <laughs> But I'm also going to say, for a tractor that's almost pushing out 300 horses, either the harvester needs a wee bit of fettling, or the harvester's power hungry. Slikes her power. Because that oh, tractor was working. She was. But then she was putting a lot of stuff up the shit. She was. She was. Yeah. Lovely outfit. And the thing about that outfit is there, right? When we bought both of these now, done four seasons, whatever age it was, that's a 60 grand outfit there. That's just the point. And it's this... still, a, a still a reasonable sized tractor. Oh, wow. You know, it's not mad. Our 8870 has come back. You know, she's one that we see in our classic fleet. Big Henry, we call it. It's pushing out a lot of horsepower. But we thought there's we've still the old 1100 about, and we get Alan up. Alan sort of has done the most of the work with the old 1100, and sort of. Sort of knows how to keep them, keep them oh, battered keep together, them and keep them running. Oh, yeah. She has the only one needed a wee bit of work and a chain and a friction plate, but he came up and give him Big Henry. Big Henry's way too much, but he didn't need anywhere near the horsepower, so we just run it nice and easy. But she kept chopping away too, bar, bar that one wee issue. 
The 1260 had the advantage now. Oh, the 1260 was fit to put a lot more grass up through. The 1100 just run sweet, run nice, blew well. Good harvester done well. But there was one, one wee thing I want to pick up here around the back. Leave all your nasty comments out of this. I want to say this. I want to show you the new hitch that we put on the Genesis, but I also want you to see, and you will see in the video, that tractor left yesterday morning with a fully functioning, properly chained down guard. Huh? Yeah, it does. Uh. And just whatever happened through the day, slight vibration, slight whatever, that disintegrated. Dead. Now that is danger, danger there. We are, we, we, are, we, we are massive advocators for protecting your shaft at all times, but we just want to point out wear and tear does have an impact. It does. And right. we need to get that sorted. We actually put a new guard on the harvester at the back there, and even it still managed to lose its chain. But it is still protected by the cover of the harvester. That is not good. No, it's not. Well, that is not safe. Why well, to get it fixed? and it'll be fixed before any more is done with that. However, can we just point out the new hitch? <laughs> yeah. So we knew the hitch was hanging in it when we sent it down to Pottinger at that, that time. That was bad, yeah. So Dara Hand, Hand Engineering, put this hitch on as a proper hitch, the proper big Dramon, whatever that is, 60 by 70 or 70 by whatever, that proper job. Armstrong's sorted out our issues with spools working, they're all working now couple of wee leaks look a wee weep or two but that's between old pipes probes seals but alan put a couple of seals in this morning and it seems to have dried her oh, up well yeah yeah um so like the genesis is a bit of a project that oh, we're going to work needs on a bit of fat, she's it? got her light upgrade she needs her paintwork tidied up a little bit but she's an awesome back kit she has her Really, Definitely. really, really nice driving tractor. Those tractors were some tractor for their time, I think, anyway. But we had the two JFs. The two JFs did really well. I think they did really, really well. Oh, you, did, uh, yeah. you know, you'll pick up this, that Genesis. Memory now, this is memory, and I'm just straight down the middle, honest. Before we put tires on it, before we worked on it, we picked that tractor up, I think she was about 19, 19 and a half thousand. The JF's valued about six or seven or eight thousand when we lifted it with a new rotor and stuff in it. That that's sub sub thirty grand rig. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sub thirty grand rig. And she's lifted quite a bit of silage here. No, she hasn't, not not, fair. not hundreds and hundreds of acres, but she's lifted a few hundred acres. She has. And all we've done is a couple of friction plates and chain. Yep. That's that really. Fair enough. And currently the 1260 has left the first cut and second cut, all the first cut, bolt the second cut. Right. One shear bolt. Yeah. I think today it, one yep. shear bolt. Yep. So something new was our rake. Uh -huh. This is a new concept, new design. Something old is our Genesis. We're going to see what the oldest here. Yep. Like, we're going to skip the borrowed bit here. Open back tap. And then something blue. Well, I'm sorry, but the blue credit has to go to this TM and Pottinger. Big Ryan McMullen, who had the 6290 Massey that Andrew Morton went out to and cart it one evening. He also had the Paul's race at the quarry at Christmas. He did. And he said that he would love a go at building up our old Pottinger. So he came, he looked around it, he gave us a wish list for parts. We rang straight to Pottinger and Clon Mel, speaking to Michael, who is, I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, Michael, but he's an old hand. An old hand who served his time round Pottinger next series. He knew exactly the parts we were on about. Yep. And we got chatting to them. They sorted them out. Basically, the parts were sorted out. But they knew what we needed. So the ability to chat straight to Clon Mel, and then they can sort out the parts through dealers or whatever. That bit, so yeah, yeah. don't need to worry about that bit. So the parts all are made. So we went for a half set of knives. Yeah. To chop it a bit longer. But we increased our blower paddles. Yeah. Full set. Full set. Yeah. And a new shear bar. New shear bar. No. Yeah. And a few other bats. That is expensive. Yes. I'm just saying, blades, paddles, th those are expensive parts in a potager. I can't lie when I say that. But I'm going to tell you all this here. 
that harvester is probably, as we speak, standing us approximately five grand sterling all in. Parch, yeah. buying it, currently to date, about five grand sterling all in. And she's running like a sweetie. TM is our something blue, 140, but as a whim, but without any of this thousand million questions that we ask when we're buying a second hand tractor, but with trust. Yeah. Yeah. Asked for in the morning, brought home in the evening, before we even agreed and finalised prices, because we needed it. Right, we, wanted the, we wanted it, we needed it, the guy had it, we trusted him, and she's turned into an absolute honey. 160 horse in the shaft, we've only painted the, painted nothing. What have we painted? Rims, uh, rims. Yeah. Painted the rims, put new tyres on, tires, tires. and, you know, she has ran four spool valves, she's she has ran faultless, she get a couple of seals. LED lights upgrade. LED light upgrade, and she ran all winter in a feeder, and has came out here, and put the power through it. Now, we're going to take it to Neil. Neil is Aye. going to go through the tractor now. But we said, because we took a bit of stick with a 7060. Aye, but Dad, I could be fair for, you know, we bought a dog and we bought this and all, but did we? We didn't buy a dog. No. We bought a tractor that was working. One spool valve was down, which was a splice, which is an expensive bit. And front PTO shaft wasn't turning. Everything else was operating. Aye. She got a carrier bearer and she got the shaft sorted at the front for the PTO. She got uh, a new splice and that's about it. And the total sum of parts, I think the one in there was less than four grand. There they are, yeah. So my point was she wasn't at all. But what we did do was we got Neil to strip everything back, to check everything and fix what we thought was potentially going to go wrong. Yeah. And then we screwed her up. And that's why we wanted everything checked, because we didn't want to give her the Jaguar horsepower and, and everything something not, weak in her. and something weak in her. So the idea was we would get the TM as she stood, see how well she does. We understand there's reliability issues of old, but the last of them were right and well sorted out. I mean, she has an 05 now. Oh, so we turned around, we got the TM, TM has absolutely flew for us. Love it, super tractor. Do you love Great it? Great machine. Great tractor. This is her something blue. Yeah. This as a rig, Pound for pound, horse per horse, ton per ton of grass, yeah. whatever measurement you want to put on it. And we don't have any infrared sensors up the spout telling us the exact <laughs> measurements. Was by a million miles the best rig at Grass by an HQ silage. Yeah, I have no doubt. There's no doubt about it. Sadly, and we're moving there next, there was really only one failure it could work with. Aye, you're a bit challenged that way. Fair enough. And we hired it. Yeah. K2, yeah, yeah. Logan McMaster with a drop side. That's why we needed the K2. Because we didn't want to be bothered taking the wings off or other. <laughs> but no, we thought we maybe would get the extra trailer just to support that. And so our trailer fleet, look at that lineup. That is a really diverse lineup. Oh, as I, as. 820 Fent, which we absolutely love. Yes, it needs some love and attention. And it has, it has one problem. Since we bought it, we've had one report to issue. Uh, she's throwing up a fault for the back oh, arms. Like it, but yeah. she's still switched it over. We've still got arms that work. So we Norman's on that and he's going to, we're going to get that sus. We think it's a control panel or something, we don't know. But that's sure, neither here nor there. Sure, but we'll get her sure. But my point is, that's only one of the issues. Ah, yeah. In the K2, beautiful. Sophie, our head embroiderer, sort of supervisor in there, was driving it. She interviewed me the first time. Yeah. What a great interview we had. Um, she said that she would love to get a wee bit more involved in yep. what grass men do. Yeah, yeah. So we asked her, got her on the fence. She did a bit at first, caught with a bailey on. Absolutely flew. Yeah, and just thought get her bag out again. And Sophie got on real well. She's not. Reared the tractors oh, no. and trailers. None, none of that. Like, took no, her time. No background. No she, problem. She likes driving. Got tight in one spot now. There was one spot she got it tight, and I was behind her in the buggy, and I stopped. And you know, a lot of people would give up and step out and say, "You do it." But she was just. And what was happening was she was in past the gate, which is a common thing 
she was very tight, it was a tight corner. She was past the gate, but just as she was coming on to the back axle, it started to drop down, which meant the trailer was for doing a wee lean like this here. And there was just, I had visions of the post just coming down at the back there. We got her stopped. She listened to the advice, reversed it back out and took it in herself. None of this, you do it, you do it, you do it. Yeah. I give absolutely top credit for that. Oh, I that means you can means you can trust that person to go off and drive, oh, and she get better and better and better. Now better and better and better rhymes with zetter. <laughs> this is our something borrowed. Our yes, zetter. The this is the marriage. This is the zetter. Brand spanking new zetter crystal HD one seventy. Good tractor. Yes. Bad price. Yes. What's the, is that the only negative price? Uh, cop dollar things. Give me. Clutch, beeping, that I was that I'm sure it would be, uh, be a wire I would say there's something you could do away with that. Yeah. Load sense and hydraulics as a bit of a, you know, but as a machine, comfortable, nice to sit on, um, plenty of power. Farmer's machine? Great farmer's tractor. Who have it? Oh, a uh, two and a half thousand gallon tanker, no bother. Would run the like of that wee pottinger, you know, perfect. We need to do that. Yeah. Issue I have with the Zetter. It's purely financial. Because I know you're talking about the hydraulics and all, but that's quite, I mean that's respectfully. That's fancy talk, if you get what I'm I saying. I understand that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fancy yeah. talk yeah. for yeah. a man that's wanting to tip a trailer. <laughs> Yeah, or, I get you, I or, totally, or over it. Now, totally. I understand there is, yes, if you're taking that out and you're wanting to run your big fusion balers and well, do all of them well sorts of things. Which of. Absolutely. Yeah. Oil flow starts to become an issue. You know, when you have leading brands like John Deere with their new 6Rs now giving you power boost. Aye. IPM yeah. with, with hydraulic, you know, hydraulic boost. But anyway, yeah. the components are good, Gary. Oh, why? Yeah. Carrero yeah. front axle, yeah. yes, there's a ton of grease nipples, but it makes her comfy. Deutsch six cylinder engine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Zetter back end, Zetter gearbox. Things, Just a manual box, like hey, this. But that's what I mean, the things are indestructible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if you want a tractor that you can kind of half abuse and keep her lit, yeah. tip tailors, rub harvesters, tankers, look no further than your Zetter. Press mm -hmm. on. You could throw anybody into that and make it move. But there is an issue. The gearbox is the wrong way around. It's a very the gear patterns, uh, it's a bit strange. No, she's missing a front PTO, but I think we can get that added on. I think Zara would add that on for us, yeah, maybe. Yeah. We could give it a run with two more and see how we get on in a slightly more challenging environment. We'll not talk about the trailer behind it too much, but it's kind of a, it's kind of the trailer we bought for the first cut of the hair. Uh, and yeah, yeah. the Zetter matched up beautiful with it. No problem to her. You know, That's wee bonds And to you can turn up the oil flow. Yeah. I like that, you can turn the oil flow up. Aye. You don't have to go in through a big screen. You wanna you wanna talk, you know, we're talking there and we're saying John Deere's awesome, John Deere's great and all Fent and all that. I jumped into the Fent yesterday just to fettle it for Sophie uh -huh. a load. And you're pushing buttons and you're getting up screens. Yeah. And you're increasing oil flows. That's right. And you're doing all that. Now, course it takes time you just turn a knob on that thing just electric right. spools turn a knob maximum flow up she goes yeah. there's wee things like that you know you you, you there, there's a certain type of farmer out there and it could take you an age to train them she push. has a level of sophistication in her you know that it's, you know that you would want if you know what I mean like the like of that's still there but it's sample to use yeah. and you've no screen yeah. or no yeah. you know but, you know, some, I, Zeller's borrowed, I'm, I'm, I am liking it genuinely. I've had it out and about myself. You did a bit of more with the 1365. How did that go? Well, like, more, one more was no challenge to her at all. Like, um, you know, like you stepped I saw on her very comfortable, yeah. you know. You stepped off the more than I just wanted to do. Right. I literally finished off a point for one of a better word. In your words to me, where I just find too low gas, nice 12k, yeah. just mowing clean. Yeah. You know, it's kind of a case. 
how much of that 12k could she be doing with the two mowers on? Aye, well that's that. That's what I was thinking to myself because whenever I was The ground it. wasn't capable of the big no. 16, 20 plus k. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so if she was doing in around that with the two mowers on her, or that 10k mark, here, you would be well now, happy. Anyway, our job was to review it as a tractor. We're not selling them. That's not our problem. Aye, and there'll be men out there once so tick, there too. Tick the box. You know? If you're a good dealer and a guy looking yeah. after you, your components are awesome, you have a comfy tractor, you have a tractor that I imagine you'd step into every day, start it up, light her up and keep her lit. That's right. Our latest purchase of a trailer was the Cane. Bought off Forgy. Um, just straight to Davy Forgy and said, look, we want a 14 ton Cane Classic. Do us a deal. He did. He had one coming and we bought it. Sample yoke, air brakes. Couldn't ask for much more than that there, really. No, oh, good sample. Just it's a Cane Classic, like you don't really have to. And what we're, it. what we were trying to do here, if I look across there, 6, 9, 10. TM140, there was a, a definitive trio from our era. Aye, oh, there was, aye. You yep. spent a lot of time in our absolute latest purchase, a 6290, That's right, with yeah. the cane trailer. Yep. I spent so much time in those two. Yep. And we were at the point <laughs> where I didn't get these, because I never drove them. You didn't get them. When I said I wanted a TM, you're like, mm, I don't like a TM. One factor I don't like is a TM. You did say that. I did, I. Yeah. I wanted this trio because there's one tractor and those three for everyone. Oh, there is, I. Yeah, that's right. But if you're a real honest person, all three of them are for you. I think uh, this is unreal. Yeah. I've been are. driving around the yard doing circles, saying to Gary, I never realised they were as good. Uh, I did exactly the same with the 820 Fint when it came. Oh, aye, aye. Yeah, yeah. But we seen yeah. it, we bought it. It's the XL front suspension. Those were three yokes that we longed for, and we have them. Darren Hobbs, I want to mention, who had this tractor, has looked after it super. Ah, it's a credit to you. It's credit fairness. to you, Darren. Yeah. Boy, I hope you're watching this. I know you really didn't want to part with it, but you did, and <laughs> we will give her the love. She's ready for a quickie loader if we want to put it on. She's the ideal tractor for a loader if we want to put it on. Um, yeah. She's came with LED lights and all on, and. I think the guys at UTV would like to see a set of them on, so I'm going to get them, I'm going to get the old arm round their old throat someday, and if they want a set of UTVs <laughs> on, they'll, they'll, they'll have to talk, because I am fed up buying lights. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, lovely trainer. And then we move on to Farmer Gar 6155R. Normally it goes out and does a few loads in the wagon, but we commandeered it this time, put it in the big smith. Nice tractor, sits it well, the bigger tyres, as you say, looks well. But when you take a wee step back, as we do now, gives you the scale. You the way really get the difference. That's sixty-two ninety. That was a, a that was a contractor's machine back in the day. Like that was the main machine. Well, same yeah. as your TM and your uh -huh. six nine. Yeah, yeah. That's that was a big rig in our day. The Cane fourteen ton. Uh huh. And that's what has replaced it. That's that not the, mad. That's just where we've got to now. And what? What's that? Twenty years? Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Unreal. But anyway guys, we hope you've enjoyed HQ Sally's second cut. <laughs> There's one thing that we want to talk about very briefly before we go. You had this conversation, I've had this conversation with different people because we spent a lot of time at the shows this year. Uh, yeah. and that's why we maybe haven't got as many new machines reviewed or whatever because we've committed to the shows. We're tired, we've been up we were we were only home from the Royal Welsh there at the beginning of the week basically. The end of last week, sorry. That's right. Straight in the silage here, but is there well, a is there a place for these old tractors that we've been picking up? Is there a place for putting your silage bike in? Are we going to see guys going back to putting their own silage in? Now I'm not trying to talk down. There was a time when trail harvesters were absolutely everywhere. Aye, there was. Guys <laughs> couldn't sell them. That's right. Because everybody was going to self-propelled. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody was going to the contractor too. But you see, at the minute, there's self propels everywhere. Every guy that sells harvesters has a yard full of them. Yeah. Owl harvesters that boys aren't buying anymore. Is there a place 
for a farmer, if we could get around the labour issue, come back to put his own in. I'm going to put this in the relative terms. Count, you add up, Gary. You do the adding. Right. TM and... No, not the tyres, because she didn't need the tyres to lift the grass. We put no. them on because that's what we do. <laughs> oh, that's right. So the TM and the Pottinger, approximately 30 grand. 30 grand. 30 grand rig there. Yeah, yeah. Give or take. Aye, maybe 31, 32 Just if you're splatting on, hairs. Like, if you're really yeah, getting into it. Yeah, yeah. Genesis is an 1100. Now that's a borrowed harvester, but I think you talked about seven or eight grand right. retail. Genesis was when we bought it now and we've, we've hitched that on it, but we well, did need the hitch. Uh, you're talking 30, I would say, or near it. 30 grand again. You're probably sub a wee bit with her, but aye. Yeah. 60 grand. We'll, 60 we'll keep grand. it those figures. Yeah. Now, that T70-60 bought with the full works on it and all was a 30-odd grand yoke, I yeah, think. Yeah. And the harvester was 30-odd grand yoke, give or take a pound or two. So keep it simple. 60 and 60. 120,000 pound sitting there. <laughs> you have three usable tractors. They'll yeah. spring the odd wee leak and stuff. All the reasonable hours on them. All similar hours, seven, seven, eight thousand. You know, uh, and they're, we, they're and far from their end of their life, like. And we know what three or four thousand with the right guy working through can do because the 7060 and the genesis is proof of that right. genesis needs a little bit of fettle and a little bit of work yeah so 120 thousand sitting there and the reality is yes you need three people yes there's a wee bit of heartache and that but we started a hundred acres yesterday after lunch time we fitted about setting up shots I would add that, in fairness. Which took a missed. long time. I would add And at 10 o'clock yeah. last night, the 100 acres was in the pit. Aye, yeah. And in the pit with the big Torian. Aye, we used that, aye. Yeah. We've done a video on the Torian, we like aye. the Torian. Torian, lovely machine, aye. That's a good loader. Yeah. And Some upgrade in the last oh. one, and we can leave that there. Aye. Because yeah, watch the video yeah, on the Torian. Yeah, watch the video on we it. Like it's it. impressive now. Very impressive loader. Six nine ten. Six to two ninety. And the TM. Our tractors are still capable of doing a lot of work. The Genesis was not a tractor that was about a lot. No. But all, all I'm saying is, it is possible. And it is genuinely a possibility that you could see guys starting to get back the way. And start if you to had a little bit of interest in machinery that you were willing to put the effort and they keep one going, there's cheap silage to be made for you. That's what I think, especially with the price of and the way it's going. Yeah. Fertilizers and all the rest of it. I think you could. There's there's savings there. Now, so not there everybody. Not, a, not everybody's going to agree with that, and a lot of dairymen will say their time's best spent, and they're right. They are right. They aye. are right. Yeah, yeah. But if you're at a, a certain cow number where you have free yeah. time or robots or whatever. I don't know. I think you can put cheaper and silage in and the pack. And you're author of your own destiny. Yeah, that's right. And have a little bit. Of, now, I wouldn't be bothered unless you had a genuine interest in machinery. <laughs> because it'll only break your heart. <laughs> or someone with you that could operate a exactly. welder. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But the bottom line is, whilst we love all the modern stuff and think it's fantastic, and the big contractors need that level of reliability. They do, yeah. They but do. what I see is, the new stuff breaks down too. It does. It does, and it, uh, it's a whole other realm of issues that them old dolls have, or don't have, sort of, should I say. Yeah. You know? And it's simple things like emission lights, sensors. That new stuff can give plenty of trouble. Can. And, and it can stop and you. Know, and we know all about it. And it can stop you. So it can. <laughs> so, like, guys, we believe there's a place for your zatter your older tractor with reasonable hours on it, yep. with the old school engines, tidy them up. I mean, our 3650 is a way of getting the top end done now on her, and I guarantee you when she comes back, she'll, yeah, she, she'll, she'll have be, a place in this line up well, next have. year. She'll be a useful machine too, You know. Sure. I don't know, we just think. But anyway, it's not what we think. It's what you guys think, <laughs> and it's what you guys spend the money on, but. At least you can see it, I know. Well, even on the trailers, and a final part and note. A 6155R top spec 
Oh, that's a fair spec. Still yeah. down to be nearly worth 100 grand. Probably not. Yeah. Your trailer's 35 grand, I would imagine. 135 grand. Massey came, hmm, 45 ish. Oh, and that's be. top dollar for the Massey, but the Massey's top dollar. Sure. Right. They, they skate the skate that zetter out there, throw your TM into your hair. Oh, you're in the same sort of Get rid of your 820 fan if you want, and put your 69 in there. Yep. Exact same, same figure. Same thing. Yeah. And you can, you can buy it. them's brand new tailors, by the way. You can make three sets at this year's the... prices. So imagine even picking up that second hand tailor, you could cheapen that down a bit. So you could have three sitting there for the price of the one big one. Having said that now. That's a big statement, isn't it? Like... Having said that. <laughs> That 155R will take more than double the load of everyone. That 155R, you would have two retailers filled and into your third. So if, so you have to factor that in as well. And probably there's a wee bit more fuel efficient accordingly. But when you're putting in your own sales for your own cows, how important is fuel? It's important, ah, but for one day of the year, how important is it? Well, if you as long it's as you put, for a, contract, if yeah. you put big grass in the pit, yeah, the diesel will be cheap. Well, that's, the, that's the cow fuel. Forty p a liter, a penny a liter. The cow fuel is more important. And anyway, guys, remember, it's okay to not be okay. Hope you enjoyed the shenanigans. I still hear the seventy sixty. <laughs> <laughs> <Got a ringing. laughs> good night and good luck. <laughs>